woman in You want to hear something that sucks? Yeah. Life isn't fair. Yep. Okay? Sexism is real. Okay. Okay, okay. you can get into a nightclub for free. No, 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 I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> You know, you can get into a nightclub for free. You're going to have guys hit on you. You're going to have guys that offer you certain opportunities, whatever, that I would never get. Hell, a lot of you girls on the panel are beautiful. You guys could probably make 10K a month selling feet pictures. Fresh can't do that. Yeah. His feet are fucked up. Luchy's you know what I'm saying? No matter how, good, no matter how many pedicures yeah, he has. Right. On the track. You don't want to see my feet, brother. No matter how many pedicures, he, he's never going to be I'm able trying. to. I, I think you know? that going back so, on your point, though, of making more money in these industries, like, is like, for what her example is like, and no knock to hairstylists or barbers or anything, but back on your point of like yeah. STEM careers being more, like making right. more money. And like, mm -hmm. like, as I said, like construction industries, People in construction make a really good amount of money, especially if you're up high. Yeah. Whereas like barbering, again, I'm not bashing your career at all. It's a great career. I love it. It's very creative. But I think that that's like kind of not really in the equation of like the wage gap because whereas like plumbing and these very big construction jobs are kind of like. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I like, see where she's coming from yeah, because she's, she's not 100%. like basically the thing. The problem is that ladies, this might offend you. I'm going to say it. But a lot of women subscribe to this ideology of, hey, I want. Um, equality of outcome. No, you don't get equality of outcome. You get equality of opportunity. Yeah. Right. That's the difference. Your is your mm -hmm. own, so own, you get the same work. abilities and uh, rights and accesses that men do. However, what comes with that is up to you. And women want to be able to get paid the same as men, but don't necessarily put in the same work as men sometimes. But, but what about access? You can't. Uh, well, hold on. Well, access. Literally, she just told you a story yeah. about being yeah. a plumber. If you go no, into a place, let, let, me, let, me, okay, me, let, me, let me finish. Out, let me please finish. If a woman goes into a job that is male dominated, let's say Alaska wild fishing, no woman wants to do that. It's dangerous as hell. I don't if, know. It seems common. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> if, if a woman applied for that job, she would get hired over a man anytime. If a woman wants to be a police officer, she would get hired over anyone uh, other over another man for that job. If a woman goes into construction, she'll get hired over a man for that job, STEM, etc. So the reality is it's not that women get discriminated against because they have a vagina and get paid less. It's because women choose to go into jobs that pay less based on a bunch of different things that women are what? In control of most of the time. And if you do want to go into a male dominated field that pays more, you actually have a, an advantage over the men. So there is no wage gap because of sex. It's been debunked a million times. I'm amazed that women still use this concept of, I don't get paid like men. No, you get the same opportunities as men. You guys just want equality of outcome, and that's not the way the world works. Okay. So moving on, because we got the whole panel here that didn't speak yet. Yeah. Why do you think women are single? That was a crazy tangent, but I will, mm. I'll let you guys, if, if, yeah. if for anyone that disagrees with me, it's fine. We could talk about it at the end yeah. with the wage gap stuff. I know some people are probably triggered, but. I think women are single because of what Lucci and Cy were saying to add on to that. But I also think because like Megan the Stallion and City Girls, like bad bitch, I don't need a man, like fuck all that shit. Like, no, mm. you actually do need a man. Like, and if you don't want a man, that's fine. But like, you can't sit there and say that you don't need one because it's nice to have that like person that's going to push you to do better so and society it, it incentivizes it yeah, yeah. Okay. music music yeah, culture. yeah exactly and yeah. i think that's why a lot of women like being single and they like Push. doing that me personally i would change my life for a man if he wanted me to but i would ask him if i can get a couple more years of my career because i love being a wedding planner and i love owning my own business i'm okay. so passionate about it but i would love to have a children like children in a family with somebody that i really so does that for. change your so, original answer of no i wanted to add to it but there was a lot of conversation going on and i didn't want to like so have it, so many it's a no that's on a contingency yeah yeah okay. it's like let it, me ask you this right so your current profession are there less weddings now or are there more weddings now um last year it, of course because the pandemic hit there were a lot of less weddings but Ooh. now everybody's getting married and before the other variant delta hits a lot of people have been booking weddings again because they want to hurry up and get married and not have to postpone that wedding or cancel their wedding and lose all those deposits they've already made. People want to get married and they want to enjoy and celebrate like their love with their family. Okay. Can we restate the question? Because we just yeah. went on 10 tangents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, no, that's fair. Yeah. That's yeah. fair in this case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So in your humble opinion, why do you think women nowadays are single or want to be single? Yeah, I definitely agree with Lucci. Um, it's mainly because I think now women have the opportunity to love themselves more mm -hmm. than needing to like love a child and give, take away their self identity. It's like, we can now do what we want and our worth is higher. And it's like, if I want to be taken off the market, they have to be 
their worth has to be right there with me. So you would say uh, in uh, culture and then more choice in general. Culture and yeah, culture and now yeah, we have the oppor- same opportunity as men. Now there is no like construct in place that says we can't have the same job as another man but as a, as men we now can so mm-hmm. more women are okay um but yeah and then unconscious bias is a huge thing mm-hmm. that we're all talking about like in terms of like hairdresser and stuff like that can you tell me what unconscious bias is please explain yeah unconscious bias so it's the biases that you have in your subconscious that come out before you're self-aware of them so for example like Merch. myron at the fucking like waxing when you see myron you're like ooh, <laughs> like you're you clench that <laughs> yeah um but that's an unconscious bias just based off uh you know your perception of like their demographic but once you get rid of that and you're self-aware of these biases you can actually get rid of that and that's an individual thing that okay. i wanted to bring awareness to so a question how is your worth is higher what was that how's your worth is higher you said how is your worth higher what? yeah because you said well women now, nowadays worth is higher yeah no i i think our worth now like our value is higher and we're valuing ourselves more i think before we were okay with getting paid less but now it's you're able to speak mm-hmm. up and you're able to um say i want you know more money okay okay <laughs> And then just for you, I know we got into that tangent with the wage gap. What was your reason for women staying single? I said it's because uh, now women have more opportunities to actually choose for themselves. Yeah. Okay. Rather than being stuck as housewives, bro. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what about you? Um, I feel like everybody kind of added this, like, you know, a little bit of the main reason why. Um, For me, I honestly just feel like, you know, we were society now is like more free like you know there's a lot of freedom going on it's like you can speak you can you know you could do or have whatever like any man has so that's why i feel like a lot of girls like she was saying with the megan and stallion stuff like they make stuff like that because they want like they want to be able to like show girls and show females that it is possible to do stuff without anybody you know without men or whatever but you know if you ask your grandma like I, I'm gonna stay single. They're gonna flip out because they're always, you know, they're always like, "Oh, I need a man. The man provides mm-hmm. for the house. The man." So provides. the ideology of female independency. Exactly. So right now, I definitely feel like a lot of girls are getting that power and like, you know, that kind of freedom to like be able to do everything by themselves. So that's why a lot of people do like, you know, open relationships or like, you know, the three okay. ways because they they just they're still okay with finding themselves, but they're still okay with being in a relationship. So. Okay. Okay. Sunny. Sunny. Let me get a little closer. Yeah. But, guys, get close with each other so you guys could properly talk I, to mics. I promise I'm, no one here has COVID. I'm hating this spot, by the way. Okay. <laughs> but um, I know. Well, um, slide, slide down a little bit, guys, if mm-hmm. you need to. Go ahead and slide down. Uh, to give, give more space. Fresh move over a tad. Okay. But anyway, yeah. I, would, I would love to say a lot of women stay single because of what they said. Um, a lot of women, they don't have to stay stuck as in the house mom. Mm-hmm. Um you know that house mom status yep. back in the day you know bitches had to gut the chickens at home and you know mm-hmm. wash the laundry by hand so it was a full-time <laughs> job to be a stay-at-home mom yeah now we have uber eats and laundry services You're we fresh. can go out to work and enjoy our lives so i think a lot of us uh do choose to be single because we can enjoy our lives now um as someone who's who was like pretty much formally like i guess in one of those um what civil marriages i guess in a kind of way i would i would say after getting out of something like that i would like to enjoy my life as much as possible a lot of women are settling down uh too early and then realizing Mm. they don't like what they have at home Mm. and uh if you don't sit out if you don't go out in the world and actually see what you like you don't really know yourself until you leave your home and your home state also so if you leave your home and you actually get to experience life you might realize that that little um stigma that you were raised with is it might not be something that you actually enjoy which is can i speak on that yeah can I speak on that? Because yeah, I'm yeah, that, yeah, sure, sure. If you wanna, um, is, did you finish your points, Sonny? I want to make you sure you get your point you across before she goes. I mean, in, in my I, in my opinion, I just think that women they they want a lot more freedom because they don't want to feel um, stuck to a situation anymore. And okay. a lot of women they go into the situations too early. Okay, so women want pr- freedom to prevent. I'm writing down everything you ladies are saying, by the way. So I just want to make sure I got it right. Uh, women want freedom to prevent um, being stuck, I guess, or trapped. 
Well, yeah, a lot of women go into situations too early, like, you know, okay. out of high school relationships mm-hmm. and then getting married. And then they realize that they're miserable 10 years later because they've been with someone who's still they're still remembering high school them. OK. And trying to compare it. It's, gotcha. Yeah. Getting okay. married is a social norm. Yeah, Fair enough. Yes. Um, sure. Uh, what was your take? She said stuck on stigma and like you're only going to realize your real worth when you get out of your home state. Mm-hmm. Girl, I went out of my own country. Traveled the world, lived in Ecuador, lived in Spain, now living in the U.S. When you say when you get out of your comfort zone and try to look past what you grew up thinking, like this is why a lot of women want to discover themselves because we were never, ever given the choice to discover ourselves. What does that mean? Yo, my friend, let me explain. 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 Okay, okay, okay. okay. Discover yourself. Well, we'll, 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 we'll let her explain it, then we can. I, I look okay. very simple. I look very quiet, bro. I hold two master degrees. Hold on, wait, but wait, even wait, if wait, I hold wait, two wait. master PhD? degrees, it was I was going into PhD, my friend, but wait, I dropped that because I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. But like, um, like, so what no, does no, that no, no, no. Let me here, here. I'm trying to explain. I'm trying okay, to explain. Okay, okay. Like this, it's because it's even topic. with all <laughs> these, yo, Miami got me like talking like this. I, I really, yeah, really, you got all the cultures. <laughs> so I, it's, I need to discover I, I myself. So <laughs> no, honestly, it's because look, school is a trap. Everyone who wants to go into masters or PhD, it's a trap for those institutions to get your money. Mm-hmm. Honestly, get your passion and start making money from whatever you love. But the thing is, in school they train you a certain way to be an employee, and not a lot of girls. We're actually given this opportunity, not in my country, not in my country. In I mean, my I grew country, up in Jamaica, if, like I, yo, I, I grew up, up in a third world country, I so you're not like telling me anything new to me. So it's me? like, like <laughs> you don't, even if you have the education, even if you have the PhD, yeah. your parents, your family mm-hmm. expect you to be a mom, expect you to be a wife later yeah. down the road and most of them expect that sooner rather than you realize like and what Sonny was saying bad? sooner than when you're ready well you want to make yeah. them proud because when you're stuck with a kid at 22 you. you don't really know do i want to be changing diapers my whole life or do i want to build you an island for women diapers your whole life it's like three four years max yeah. i mean, I mean like, to you <laughs> Am I wrong? Out. Am I wrong? Don't babies wear diapers Unless three, four years back? Like, <laughs> like, if your baby is still pissing his pants at four years old, you fucked up. Am I wrong? Yeah. Uh, okay, so, so don't be judging the kids. Don't be yeah. judging the kids. I got my 